Well, we begin tonight at 5 in Canton, where police say a homeowner stabbed and killed an alleged intruder last night. And before that, police say the man also victimized another homeowner nearby. The deadly stabbing happened in the 300 block of Clarendon Avenue around 8 o'clock. Now, the investigation is still underway, but police say they will give their findings to the Stark County Prosecutor's Office to see if any charges will be filed. News 5's Jesse Schultz was in Canton and has more on that terrifying incident. I went to the 300 block of Clarendon Avenue to see if I could talk to any of the homeowners involved in last night's home invasion. They weren't home, but the 911 calls reveal a frightening ordeal for several people in the Canton neighborhood. It's every homeowner's worst fear, an intruder inside your safe space. And Sunday around 8 p.m., that became two families on Clarendon Avenue Northwest's reality. 911, was your emergency? <laughs> yes, I, I had some guy in my house. Will you please send yeah, somebody? Canton police received two separate calls just like this. First, from this frightened woman who tells 911 dispatchers that a man was inside her bedroom and got in through their back door. He backed up in my kitchen and my dog went after him. That's when I come running in here and told my husband, I said, Mark, there's some man in here. And he got up and he told him to get out of his house. She tells dispatchers her husband made the intruder leave, but that he seemed to be going towards their neighbor's house. He ran, he ran into over, over to another house. Shortly after that call, police were called to the house across the street. Are you on Clarendon? Yeah, my husband stabbed him. Your husband he was what? Hurry up, he's bleeding. He broke husband, into my house. You, your husband and my husband had him. to stab him. A woman panicked and scared, saying a man came into their house and tried to stab her husband with a knife from their kitchen. And after a fight between her husband and the intruder, her husband stabbed him. He walked in my back door. He's like in my living room. Me and my husband are watching TV. And he goes to grab a knife from the kitchen sink. And my husband takes it from us. According to Canton Police, when they arrived on scene, the suspect, 44-year-old Michael Harper, was lying on the kitchen floor. That man was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. This was self-defense. Ohio changed its self-defense stand your ground law in 2021. There was no longer a duty to retreat and you can use lethal force anywhere you are legally allowed to be if you feel like your life is in danger. Canton police say their detectives will be presenting the case to the Stark County Prosecutor's Office. They're asking anyone with information to call the department. Reporting in Canton, Jesse Schultz, News 5.